Welcome to 4K Art Gallery. Today, we'll be diving into the world of the renowned artist, Gustav Corbett. Born in 1819, Corbett hailed from a small village in eastern France. Growing up in a humble background, he had a taste of the realities of rural life, which would later shape his artistic vision. As Corbett stepped into adulthood, he found himself seeking the bustling streets of Paris. The city's vibrant atmosphere and artistic circles became his playground. It was here that he began to develop a distinct style that challenged the traditional norms of the art world. Corbett's first notable work, Woman in a Straw Hat with Flowers, painted in 1857, captured the essence of Parisian elegance. The vibrant colors and loose brush strokes showcased his rebellious spirit, as he dared to challenge the strict rules of academic art. In 1858, Corbett shocked the art world with his audacious piece, Reclining Nude. This provocative portrayal of a female nude, unapologetic in her sensuality, pushed boundaries and challenged societal norms. Corbett's frankness and refusal to conform to conventional ideals of beauty gave a voice to the marginalized and the unconventional. His exploration of portraiture was equally compelling. In Portrait of a Young Girl and Portrait of MME de Breyer or the Polish Exile, Corbett captured the essence and individuality of his subjects. Through his realistic approach and attention to detail, he revealed the true nature and personality of each individual. Corbett's connection to nature was undeniable, as seen in his landscape paintings. Landscape near Ornans and the Mediterranean showcased his deep appreciation for the beauty of the natural world. His brushwork, bold and lively, captured the changing light and atmosphere of these outdoor scenes. In The Lady of Frankfurt and Two Nude Women, Corbett delved into the realm of exoticism and eroticism. These works challenged societal taboos and represented a departure from established artistic conventions. Corbett's unflinching portrayal of the female form, both powerful and vulnerable, challenged the male gaze and offered a new perspective. Finally, let's not forget Corbett's theatrical side. In Louis Gaimard as Robert Le Diable, he depicted a famous opera singer of the time. Through this piece, he explored the world of performance and the blurred lines between reality and illusion. And there you have it, a glimpse into the life and works of Gustav Corbett. His experiences, from his humble beginnings to his rebellious spirit, greatly influenced his art. Each stroke of his brush conveyed a sense of defiance, a voice for the marginalized, and a celebration of the unconventional. So, next time you see a Corbett painting, take a moment to appreciate the boldness and passion behind it.